What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Los Santos Tuners. And today we will be covering my single cam ZC build. All right. Um, the only thing that has been reused on this motor will be the bottom block casting, uh, upper cylinder head casting, the crankshaft, this AC bracket, and this alternator bracket. All right. Um, with that being said, all the sensors are new, all the parts are new, every hose is brand new as well. So, let's start off at the bottom. It is a, a ZC crankshaft, like I said, on ACL bearings, race bearings. The crankshaft has been micro-polished twice, just so we can get the proper clearance, because the first micro-polishing process, um, it was still just a little thick, and I, I, I didn't want to change the bearings. So I just had it micro polished again. Um, everything checked out. So we went ahead and assembled that. Um, this is a Fell Pro oil pan gasket. Properly torqued and everything. Um, when you guys do this, be sure to put some uh, RTVs around here, okay? RTV gray if you can, okay? Um, the alternator would be a 160 amp high output with a bigger gear or bigger pulley, I should say. Um, the belt is a Y8 belt due to the fact that the pulley is slightly bigger. I decided to run with the harmonic balancer. That's because uh, the lightweight crankshaft pulley, they're known for crank walks. So to avoid that, I went with the OEM. And plus I had the whole rotating assembly balanced with, with the harmonic balancer, so. Just to keep the proper balance, I'll, I just kept this right here, okay? Um, it is a 76 millimeter YCP Viterra pistons. Uh, excuse me. The reason I went with the YCP is because Speed Factory, world record holder um, for Civic builds, they've ran the Viterras plenty of time and it, it makes good power. Also, a few YouTubers that, that are building single cams, they are using the Viterra pistons. So I'm good with that. Um, it's on Speed Factory connecting rods. Let's get to um, the Gates water pump, okay? I am running a Gates water pump, Gates timing tensioner, and Gates timing belt. Now, when I put the water pump side by side with the OEM one, the gear on the water pump is slightly bigger on the Gates, okay? Um, I don't know what difference that make, but we're just gonna run with that <laughs> okay um the reason why i went with 76 millimeter is because i'm planning to put 30 pounds of boost through this motor and um, i want to lower the compression as much as i can okay um it has a vms block guard so we're not worried too worried about the the cylinder walls or any of that um spark plugs bkr75 i believe um, I kept the, the factory gap from NGK. It's on, uh, VMS spark plug distributor wires to a OEM gutted distributor, VMS cap and rotor as well. Let's get to the head. We are running a skunk two stage two cam from skunk two. That sounds stupid as hell, huh? I just repeated Skunk 2 like twice. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it is on Skunk 2 valves. Skunk 2 valve uh, springs and retainer. The valve guides are Super Tech. That's a pretty good brand. Um, Skunk 2 seals. Skunk 2 adjustable timing gear and cam gear. Man, what's up with my freaking information right now, man? You guys get it. <laughs> Bear with me, man. I'm still new to this this uh YouTube car building channel thing. All right. Uh, okay, let's get to the manifold. Throttle body. Skunk 2 throttle body, 70 millimeter. Um, port matched down to Skunk 2 intake manifold. It is port matched from the runner down to the cylinder head. Uh, Skunk 2 four bar map. Speed factory throttle position. All the radiator bypass hoses are max peating rod hoses. 
This is a fake HKS blow-off valve. The only real complaints I've heard about this blow-off valve would be the sound, which um, I don't really care how it sounds, honestly, as long as it makes boost and it's, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, let's get into the fuel. VMS fuel pressure regulator on high flow VMS fuel rail down to 1000 cc FIC injectors. Um, the intake manifold gasket is a skunk to thermal gasket. Let's see what else. Head gasket. Head gasket will be a comedic 0.33 millimeter. It is copper coated. Exhaust manifold gasket would be a comedic as well. I have it right here. Um, I'll put it in once I drop in the motor. Um, ARP studs, bolts, all that. ARP head stud. We don't want the the head to be separating from the block when we put 30 pounds down it. <laughs> okay. Um, 1320 motor mount. I believe it's a 75A. Let's get into the turbo. Pretty sure everybody want to know about the turbo. It is a Pulsar Turbo. Um, I paid about 800 bucks for the T3, T4 Pulsar. Um, also is dual ceramic ball bearing. So that's a good thing. Onto an eBay manual boost control. All right, all the hoses are um, custom. I guess you can say that. <laughs> um, it is color coordinated. I am running um, green for coolant. And purple for oil. All right. Uh, heat control. As you can see, everything is properly wrapped. Okay. We don't want heat soak. Now, the reason why I ran these uh, gold wraps right here is because the spark plug wire is crossing the oil feed. And we don't want no heat right there, right? <laughs> right here as well. The reason why I wrapped this, kind of shitty right here, but whatever. Um, it's because it's crossing my distributor. So I had the hardness right here wrap. Also this, okay? Heat control is important. Let's see what else I can cover right here. Um, yeah, as far as that, this is my little 500 horsepower build. Mishimoto fan. Skunk 2 radiator. And skunk 2 upper hoses. Lightweight ACT flywheel. I believe it's 11 pounds. Competition clutch. Eight puck. Okay. I'm, I'm not running the six puck. Um, I want to get comfortable with the eight puck first. Before I start getting to the more aggressive ones. This this might be a track build. But it's mainly for the streets right now. So. um, Yeah. Let me, let me see what else. What else I got to cover right here. Everything is port matched. The exhaust is port matched as well. Or ported down, I should say. Not port matched, but ported down. Um, it is not polished. None of the runners are polished, but it is ported, okay? Um, yeah. Filters. Come on, guys. Put a fuck... <laughs> I was about to cuss right now. Put a damn filter on your turbo, all right? I see a lot of people with no filter, man. That, that bugs the crap out of me. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, with that being said, um, did I cover the ARPs? I'm pretty sure I did. ARP studs all around, ARP bolts all around. We don't want nothing flying out, okay? Um, yeah, that is uh, my uh, 500 horsepower ZC boat. Oh, yeah, Turbo Smart, 38 millimeter. Okay. Yeah, that is, that is it, guys. Oh yeah, hold up. Let's get behind the block real quick. Um, oil breather is a dash ten an to a dash six connector. I don't mind. I, I don't know if that's going to be an issue. So if that is an issue, somebody correct me, please. Go in the comment section. Um, glow shift sandwich plate for all my. Oil feed and sensor needs. I won't be running this KNN filter during the braking process. Um, I will be running a Fram, cheap Fram. That's because we'll be changing uh, 
the oil after 200 miles okay and um as of right now everything is lubricated with molly this is what i use right here molly graphite all right guys with that being said go ahead and subscribe like share whatever okay thanks for checking me out guys